Hello everyone, I am Amin Amdi Rashidul from the Bostech Solution. Um, are here today we are going to show you our new project uh, that we worked on with uh, the AIB students of undergraduate and we worked with them uh, we made their idea to a new device to create a new device that um, is heartbeat measurement system with RF transmission system. So we are here um, implemented uh, uh, some idea from uh, idea taken from the embedded lab.com um, where we can find that the finger uh, heartbeat measurement system using the fingertip um, and we used uh, IR, photo, IR and photodiodes uh, to, um, pre, uh, to count the pulses um, and to uh, count the heartbeat. Um, the basic idea is uh, to uh, take the pulses are uh, going through uh, where, when the heart beats um, and the blood flow through our body uh, at the fingertips uh, the IR uh, transmitter will uh, create a light, light and uh, it will reflect back and read by the diode photodiode and um, it gives it will give us pulses because um, uh, our heartbeat uh, will create that pulse so we are counting that pulses uh, using um, the MCP604 uh, rather than using MCP602 we used MCP604 because it gives us uh, two more extra uh, amplifying uh, circuits and um, amplifying states uh, that we can use uh, later on uh, that's, uh, that's we kept for the future use. Uh, now we just used uh, the two um, amplifier circuits and, and implement um, it uh, in MCP604. So uh, basically we're um, implementing it and uh, we're um, amplifying a low signal to a high signal and uh, creating the pulses and uh, we used Atmega 8 to uh, count that pulse uh, using an external interrupt. Normally they used a T1 pin, actually we didn't use the T1 pin, uh, the external clock source, we used uh, the uh, external interrupt in, uh, instead of a T1 pin of Atmega 8 because we found something that uh, is problematic with T1 pin and we just uh, kept it, um, we will investigate it all later, later on and for just now we uh, we um, for just now we used external interrupts so here the logic is uh, counting the pulses created and uh, amplified by the circuit uh, using external interrupts so if, uh, in every time the pulses come uh, interrupt will generate an external interrupt will create and, and will increase our counter values uh, we created uh, this. Uh, this is the old thing uh, that is posted on the embeddedlab.com, but we used a new uh, thing that is the RF transmitter and here's the RF receiver. So the basically the thing is we make it more portable and flexible to use. Uh, so here's the logic. Uh, you can uh, keep the transmitter or heartbeat measurement system somewhere. Um, at the patient's side and you can still read the data from a distance and that's all uh, will be dependent on the RF transmitter and receiver module so we are uh, here here we, you can just see this uh, we have two wires uh, this is the one for VCC 5 volt one for ground same for here VCC and ground so we are going to just connect it uh, to a VCC and ground of Arduino we are using it because it is um, so much easy uh, because Arduino gives us regulated 5 volt so we don't just don't need any other thing so we are just connecting it Arduino to ground pin you can see this here is the ground going on and here is the VCC so we are just now going to plug in and see the how it is working actually so I am just plugging in the Arduino here it is go I guess uh, we need to increase the intensity of the LCD. 
some more weeps. Yes, because I powered up with only one Arunia. Okay. Very cool. Okay. Here it is. It's now. I'm just increasing the. Uh, I'm just changing the pot value of the LCD. Okay. Now just uh, I can re replug it. Or I can reset it, but I am preferring the replug because you can see this from the first time. Yes, here you go. And again, you can see this is the initialization that uh, it says it's heartbeat measurement system. Uh, so, here, here the both are now working, and we need to just um, place the finger on the IR transmitter and press the start button you can see here the start button and clear button clear button to reset all the data if the start button pressed uh, and my fingers in here the um, green energy should blink with the pulses uh, generating uh, using my fingertip and the red, bar, red LED should indicate the transmission of the data and the green LED should um, show you that the sensor is on or off. If uh, the green LED is on, sensor is on, otherwise, sensor is off to minimize the power loss. And here you can see this is one also the when uh, this will get the transmission uh, received data, it will be on. So, here's a hard fitness system. I'm placing my finger and just pressing start. Oh, Okay, and uh, you can see here um, uh, when I will press start, it will say it's counting start. Now it's heartbeat measurement system. Okay, I'm placing my finger in here and pressing the start button. Yes, it's counting. See, okay, and you can here see in here the heartbeat counting start. Okay, now heartbeat counting is going on, it will take 15 seconds to uh, collect the data and I will just multiply it by 4 and uh, we will take the BPM bit per minute by multiplying 4 ok we have got our, our data is 100 ok that's is pretty much good data because uh, the normal heart rate is from 60 to 120 and we are getting 100 data even I'm talking so that might be take effect uh, it's plus minus uh, something uh, we are taking 15 seconds data counting and we are multiplying it by 4 so if one pulse is error the rate of 4 pulses error so um, this is quite um, not 100 percent right but it will uh, give you almost good data to, uh, to um, observe the patient's current situation so uh, you can see this I can do one more time that I will clear the data from here uh, yes I pressed and you can see here this data bit clear hard bit data clear okay now I can count one more time to be sure you can see this uh, sorry you can see the LCD okay I'll zoom it later you can see this uh, when I'll press this one the red LED and green LED should blink on yes transmitted data yes so it just first uh, transmitted the counting star data now it will uh, taking the data and it will uh, send the BPM through the RF transmission and see the counting start is and counting is going on counting stopped and the BPM is 140 140 B per minute so that's quite good data okay this is the whole system actually you can see this this power cable is plugged on and whole thing is wireless I used a um, copper wire to make this tiny uh, antenna and for the same things for the receiver part okay so, so this is the total thing uh, this is the uh, heartbeat uh, wireless heartbeat uh, measurement system of the boss tech solution it is version 1.0 um, where we'll work on it and we'll hope um, that in future we'll get some 
more version of this and more upgraded one this is our first try and we first try uh, we failed with the t1 pin at mega 8 but we uh, we have succeeded in, uh, we finished the work with the external interrupts so that's all from here this is Ami named Rashidul from the Boss X Solutions and this is our device uh, the heartbeat measurement system so thank you everyone for watching this video you can um, subscribe me for the for more videos coming on thank you everyone